This facility, built in 1983 and upgraded in 1993, uses treatment methods that are so effective that water leaving the plant always exceeds the toughest government standards. We accomplish the great water quality that we have by a series of treatment steps. The first of those steps is uh, the addition of chlorine to the water. And the purpose of the chlorine is to kill bacteria and viruses. Following the chlorination step, we add two chemicals, alum and polymer, which are known as coagulants. Those two chemicals cause a chemical reaction in the water that clumps all of the suspended particles that are, are present into sort of clumps or bundles of particles. And those clumps are slowly mixed through some basins. After the mixing and we have particles that are big enough to filter, the water flows through a pipe into large beds of granular anthracite coal. Anthracite coal has a remarkable ability to filter particles from water. The beds of coal the water passes through are several feet thick. In order to make sure that they operate at peak efficiency, they're backwashed every 30 hours. When the filters load up with the particles that we've coagulated and caught in them, then at some point we have to wash those out of there. And the way that's done is by pumping water in reverse through the filter, which pushes all of that stuff back out of the filter. The plant has a sophisticated central control room. Here, the various phases of filtration and treatment are constantly monitored. In order to make certain that the process works perfectly, there is continuous monitoring by an array of automatic instruments. In addition, lab analysis takes place every four hours. The result of all this painstaking effort? Truly superior drinking water. It's hard to describe because it's so clean, it's hard to measure it. Once the water comes out of the filters, it typically is 10 times below the, the EPA standard for waters of our type. There are very few places in the United States that have taken the approach that Everett has with regard to staffing their treatment plant. And so it's important to note that the quality of people who work here is very, very high, and, and the quality of the water reflects their performance. An average of 50 million gallons of water are treated here every day before heading toward Everett and then on to thousands of individual destinations throughout Snohomish County. The way the water actually gets to Everett is through concrete and steel pipes, each four feet in diameter. Near the city, the pipes run above ground next to Highway 2. These water transmission lines are carefully monitored and maintained. This includes routinely flushing the whole length of each pipe, from the filtration plant to Everett, about 20 miles. Some of the water districts, or suppliers, who buy their water from the city of Everett take water directly from these transmission lines. Others, along with the city of Everett, draw water from reservoirs and storage tanks located throughout the city. There's one uncovered reservoir in Everett. It holds unfiltered water used for paper making. But in order to ensure that drinking water is kept as pure as it can be, it's stored in six closed tanks and four covered reservoirs. From these protected storage facilities, hundreds of miles of pipe distribute the water throughout the county. The pipes are periodically flushed and hundreds of water samples are taken throughout the system to ensure that the quality of the water is as good as it was when it left the filtration plant. As you can see, from the mountains to the cities below, every step of the way, the quality and purity of your drinking water is protected. We're fortunate to have as our source some of the purest water on Earth. The city of Everett understands the importance of this. That's why we've developed stringent safeguards to make sure that throughout its journey, from the Sultan River watershed all the way to your tap, our drinking water is as good as it gets. <laughs>